Welcome to the install video for the Ducati Scrambler Analog Signal Pod LED Turn Signals. First up, installation instructions for front signals on Ducati Scrambler models. For front installation procedure, you will need the following. A T40 wrench, assorted metric Allen wrenches, 8 and 10 millimeter wrenches, an 8 millimeter socket wrench, and wire cutters. The following components are necessary to complete installation for the front signals. Analog signal pod LED turn signals, two set screws, two washers, and two nylock nuts, as well as assorted zip ties. Start by using the 10mm wrench and 5mm Allen wrench to remove the stock signals. Be careful not to lose the metal spacer the bolt goes through on the mount. Once the bolt is undone, remove the black plastic spacer on the original signal stocks. Repeat this process on the other side of the motorcycle. Next up, remove and set aside the seat. Remove the plastic shroud at the front of the gas tank. Pull it gently out of the rubber mounts, taking care not to break this piece. Using the 8mm socket, remove and retain the bolts at the rear of the gas tank mount. Using the T40 wrench, remove the two bolts on either side of the front lower area of the gas tank. Gently pull up on the gas tank, making sure not to damage fuel lines or connections. Use a soft object to prop up tank as shown, or have a friend hold up your tank. It is a good idea to be at less than a half tank of fuel. Carefully cut the zip tie by the fork tube, being careful not to cut any wires. Remove and retain rubber wire tie. Follow the turn signal wire down below the tank and clip the zip ties holding it in place. Again, being careful not to cut any wires. Locate the signal wire and the marked R for the right side label and disconnect this wire, pulling the signal itself and wire out through the front of the bike. Using the included set screw and nylock nut, thread the nut onto the screw, exposing about three threads on the end of the screw as shown. Use the original metal spacer and the set screw and nut assembly to mount the new signal pod to the factory location. Use the 8mm wrench to tighten the signal pod into place making sure to route the wire through the hole in the factory mount location. 
If done correctly, the set screw should thread easily into the signal housing and bottom out. Then, the nylock nut will tighten to the signal mount on the bike. Route the new right side signal wire along the same path as the stock unit. Connect the marked R connector to the right side signal wire. Following the same procedure for the right side signal, follow the wire for the left side signal and undo the rubber tie and zip ties. Cut and remove the zip ties, retain the rubber tie. Disconnect the left side wire harness and remove signal. Using the 2.5mm Allen wrench and the 8mm wrench, attach the nylock nut to the set screw as you did for the right side. Use the original metal spacer and set screw assembly, as you did on the right side, to install the new signal pod. Thread the screw into the signal pod. Use the 8mm wrench to tighten the signal pod into place, making sure to route the wire through the hole in the factory mount location. If done correctly, the set screw should thread easily into the signal housing and bottom out. Then, the nylock nut will tighten to the signal mount on the bike. Route the new signal pod wire in the same place as the original signal wire, and plug into the connection block in the position marked with an L. Test the new signal pods before wrapping up the last few steps. Reattach the rubber ties and replace any cut zip ties with new ones, being sure to include the new signal pod wires in these wire groupings. Using the T40 wrench, reattach the stock bolts securing the front of the tank. Be sure to replace the rubber bushing if it fell out. Using the 8mm socket, reinstall the two bolts that secure the rear of the tank to the bike. Reinstall the plastic shroud covering the front of the tank. Finally, Reattach the seat, and you're finished. Next up, installation instructions for the rear signals on the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled. For installation of the analog signal pods on the rear of the Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled, you will need the following tools assorted metric allen wrenches, and wire cutters. You will need the following components for installation of the rear signals on the desert sled. Two analog signal pod LED turn signals, two stainless 5mm allen bolts, two washers, and assorted zip ties. If you haven't already, remove the seat and set aside. Using the 4mm allen wrench, Remove the four bolts holding on the rear fender dust cover.
Using the 5mm Allen wrench, remove each bolt holding both the left and right rear signals on the bike. With the wire cutter, clip the four zip ties along the subframe that secure the signal wires. Using the appropriate Allen wrenches, loosen the four bolts holding the rear subframe and the top two holding the lock panel, as shown. Remove the two bolts on the top rear of the seat lock panel as well. Be sure to keep track of which bolts go where, so they can be correctly replaced. Using the appropriate Allen wrench, remove the last bolt near the end of the fender to complete removal of the rear plate holder assembly and subframe. With the tail section exposed, pull slightly on the lock panel to detach the stock signal wire connectors from the loom. Remove stock signals. Keep track of where the stock signal wires are routed. Route installed signal pod wires in the same location. Apply a small amount of blue thread locker to each of the longer 5mm bolts. Using the 5mm bolt and washer, the signal spacer from the front signals, and the new signal pod, install the new signal on the subframe. Tighten the bolt enough that the signal does not move with light pressure. Note. If you are not using the front spacer, use the set screw and nylock nut to secure the new signals directly to the stock mount, or you can purchase the analog signal pod spacers at our website. Run the signal pod wire along the subframe where the stock wires ran. Use the included zip ties to secure the wire in place. Using the remaining signal pod, stock front spacer, and 5mm allen bolt and washer, attach the new signal to the right side of the subframe, just as you did on the left side. Secure the right signal wire with zip ties, as you did on the left side. Finish by clipping the excess ends of the ties. Using the appropriate Allen wrench, reattach the rear subframe to the fender, being careful to route the wires in the correct stock locations. Carefully reconnect the new signal pod wires, both left and right, to the correct plugs on the stock loom. Bend back the lock panel slightly to gain access to this area.
Using the metal spacers and stock hardware, reattach the subframe to the front of the fender and inwardmost area of the frame. The metal spacer goes into the plastic fender panel between the fender and subframe to prevent crushing of the fender. Wait to fully tighten until all bolts are started. Attach the other two stock bolts and washers that hold the subframe to the fender assembly. Tighten all bolts down now. Insert and tighten the two bolts that hold the lock panel down. Reinstall the fender dust cover using the remaining four stock bolts. Tighten to secure. Test the new signal pods. Reattach the seat and you're done. Next up, installation instructions for the rear install on the Ducati Scrambler. For rear turn signal installation on the Ducati Scrambler, you will need the following. Assorted metric Allen wrenches, T10 and T40 wrenches, an 8mm wrench, and wire cutters. The following components are necessary for this installation. Two analog signal pod LED turn signals, two set screws, two washers, two nylock nuts, and assorted zip ties. Start by removing the seat and setting aside for now. Underneath the rear of the bike, use the 4mm wrench to remove the four bolts at the top of the lock panel. Gently pull back the lock panel to expose the left and right connectors for the stock turn signals. Cut the zip ties on the connectors and carefully disconnect both left and right wires, keeping track of which wire goes where. Remove the toolkit cover and cut all of the zip ties that hold the signal wires in place, including one beneath the fender. Repeat this process for both left and right sides. Route both of the signal wires out of the bottom of the fender bracket and subframe assembly. Using the T40 wrench on the underside of the turn signal bracket, remove both bolts securing the bracket to the subframe.
Using the T10 Torx wrench, remove the six small screws that hold on the assembly cover. Retain these screws and remove the cover. Cut the zip ties inside the bracket holding the stock signals in place. With the 5mm Allen wrench, remove both of the stock signals from the bracket. Using the included small set screw, along with the nylock nut, thread the nut onto the screw and expose about three threads. Apply a small amount of blue thread locker to the set screw. Begin threading the set screw and nut assembly into the signal pod to secure into the stock signal location. Using the 8mm wrench, tighten the nylock nut, being sure to locate the signal pod as correctly shown. If done correctly, the set screw should thread easily into the signal housing and bottom out. Then, the nylock nut will tighten to the signal mount on the bracket. Make a second set screw and nut assembly and apply a small amount of blue thread locker. Attach the second signal pod to the bracket with the set screw and nut assembly. Use the 2.5mm Allen wrench and 8mm wrench on the nylock nut to ensure the signal pods are secure. Route the new signal pod wires just as the stock wires were including using zip ties to secure the wires. Four zip ties were removed, only two were necessary. Reattach the plastic cover for the signal bracket and replace the six screws that hold it together. The signal bracket should look like this after the new signal pods are installed. Using the T40 wrench and two stock bolts, reattach the turn signal bracket to the rear of the bike. Route the new signal pod wires up to the toolkit tray and secure using zip ties, just as the stock setup was. Make sure you trim the excess zip tie ends. Replace the zip tie holding the wires to the frame on the right side as well. Trim the excess zip tie ends and cover the toolkit.
Carefully pull back the lock panel and connect the new signal pod wires to the stock harness, locating left and right connectors. Use a zip tie here to control excess wire. Using the four stock bolts, secure the lock panel. Reattach the seat and you've finished the process. Be sure to test the signals before you get out and ride. Please don't hesitate to reach out and contact us should you have any installation questions. We hope you enjoy your new analog signal pods.